precious Lord, take my hand and lead, and lead, and lead me on. Hey, we're we back. back. God, daughter, we're back for church. At the Holy Convocation over at Calvary. I'm your worship leader for this goddamn Sunday Mount. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get y'all some house rules. Because uh, y'all ain't going to get these reviews same night. No more after this week. The only reason y'all getting it this week is because it's my birthday week. And yeah. I got skit to do. Yeah, we got to get got to push them out and get her done. So on Friday. Mm, mm, mm. But we got green leaf, y'all. I don't really understand why this is a two-parter for the opening because this one was kind of slow. It's a builder, but let me tell you, huh? Oh, we we start off where we ended off last time where Gigi don't stabbed up Uncle Mac because Uncle Mac don't did what he did, of course, and then he was attacking her, got all between the legs, was choking her out or whatever. So she grabbed the bottle and she, mm -mm -mm. yeah. So what she did was. She sat there for a minute, let him bleed out. Mm -hmm. I said, mm-hmm, Gigi, I know what you're doing. Go ahead and do yeah. it. Do it. Do it, girl. Yeah, you want him to die. Uh-huh. She said, tell me where my daughter is. He said, I ain't telling you nothing till that blood start gushing and gushing and gushing and gushing. And then, you know, Uncle Mac did that one little, um, that last, I'm going to take my last breath, and the head roll. <laughs> and then she was like, hold on, hold on. I'm me, ready me, for this. Hey, let me go call 911. Cause so I can't go to jail over this boobs get. <laughs> so she calls 911. Next thing we know, we see her outside. And she's sitting there. They got her in the um in the blanket. I mean, she blooded. I mean, tore bruised, up. just tore, tore up. up. They're asking her, you know, what happened? She said, listen, I already took a toe to other officer what happened. And she said, am I under arrest? They said, no, you can go ahead and go home. But tomorrow, there will be a statement yeah. that you're going to need to make. So, hey, let get go. Get to sleep. And get your story together. So she goes on to the hospital where the hospital they taking all these pictures and all this stuff. Um, you know, I mean, God don't. Y'all was really tussling up in yeah. that guy doing a party. It don't seem like it was that long, but she had a lot of bruises on her for a little bit of tussling. But you know, when you light skin, it don't take much, though. It don't take much. Nah. So um, and said so we know, you know, they went ahead and told her, you know, you free to go. And she walks out there to the waiting room and her mom and her dad is sitting there. Now, First Lady May, she over there trying to tell these sad stories of, and these um, memories that she got of her brother. Bishop Lester Wallace said, listen, May, uh -huh. I know that's your brother and all, but I don't give a rat say yeah. about what, what y'all used to do when y'all was little. When yeah. my guy doing daughters and they're probably fighting for her life over some bullshit. That, that he did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I'm sitting there like, okay, Bishop Lester Wallace, I know that you feel some kind of way right now, but, but at the same is, time, yeah, that is her brother. I still got, you still yeah, got to think yeah. about it because I love my brother with everything in me too. If he could go out here and do something, ain't like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, he did that. I'm proud and he of him. Deserved, yeah, and he deserved this. Deserve but I'm that. still gonna yeah. grieve just the same. Mm -hmm. Even if he did something horrific like that. Exactly. I mean, so I felt her on that once, you know. She was like, it's a two-parter for me. My brother's dead, but my daughter did it. <laughs> I mean, God, don't. But I still don't trust her, though, when she told her, though, when she got out there. Told me, I believe you, and I believe that it was self-defense. Yeah. But he just, she just killed your brother, and you've been giving her hell ever since she got to the goddamn plant. I'm, I'm sorry, the mansion. The plantation. Yeah. Now that's what it is when you step up in And you've been blaming her, her for everything that's going on in that house. Now, all of a sudden, she kills your brother. And she, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's self-defense. You had to protect yourself. So, Because you got to preach this Sunday. And we need a word from the Lord. We can't afford for you to be six feet under with that word still in your spirit. And look, you better go and you better put something on. You get them bruises up out uh -huh. You got to work it out. Matter of fact, make it into a message. Shoot. Jesus got whipped, what, 66 times? Hey, you got whipped just overnight. Come on in. Bring that word. The, the church door is open. The church door is open. So she comes out there. She goes into her daddy's arms. And of course, she, you know, she's a daddy's girl. And he was like, Gigi, I'm just so happy that you're okay. And, you know, she breaks down, of course, like you said, mama. She gives her little fake uh -huh, self-defense kind of stuff. I say, I'm looking at her like, 
Mm-hmm. I hear you. Uh-huh. First say what album? I, I I remember when you used to was. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see over at the house, you know, um, Bishop Lester Wallace, the first lady mayor talking, and they basically are saying, Listen, we're not gonna tell charity because We'll tell her when she get back, and I know how she feels about not being included in anything, mm -hmm. but what can she do? They act like charity ain't good for skip. Yeah, like she can't handle nothing. Like she can't order no flour. <laughs> she can't call up to the Kroger and get a box of chicken. She can't make no well, tater maybe, salad. Well, no maybe breakfast. she done did something that we don't know about yet. She is a little blonde. I give, I, you know, I can't say who she remind me of, but she remind me of our friend. One of the best people in the world. Uh-huh. But she blonde as hell. Yeah, need help. I can't trust her with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I love her though. We we need to place her order at McDonald's. Yeah, we gotta she, place the order. And she'll get it wrong. She'll get her own order wrong. <laughs> so that's kind of how charity is, but they gotta play her like that. So basically they're sitting out there talking, and Gigi walks up on the end of a conversation where first lady said, Oh, Gigi is a hero. She is a hero. What she did was self-defense. And Gigi was like, did I just hear you call me a hero? And she was like, yes, that's the story I'm going to go ahead and tell the deacons and all of that, that you're no murderer. You are, mm -hmm. um, you, you, would, um, you killed him out of self-defense. And she said, you know what? I almost believe you. almost you. got me. You just trying to sell that story to the church so we can look good. And she said, because we're not going to have no scandal. And I'm sitting here like, all of this is going on. And all you worried about is the church. What you going to look like Your name. Church. Yeah. And a scandal. For real? Like, your daughter just was in I, a murder situation. <laughs> and that's all you can think about. So, and then we saw what she had called Mavis. To, I guess to tell Mavis. I actually thought Mavis was dead when she left Me out too, of there. yeah. And, well... No, nah, because we did see her. I could have said, well, she didn't answer. But um, Mavis basically on her voicemail was like, listen, if you trying to book such and such, leave a message and not make... What was the message she said? She said, you trying to book a gift for Alonzo, go ahead and leave a message. But if you want to leave another message, don't put, don't make it long. Don't fill up my voicemail. I ain't got time for it. Something like that. <laughs> no, nah, she said, make it swift, make it quick. It was something. Yeah. It was, it was funny. <laughs> so, Lord, y'all. Cam and Ernie got it in, in the bishop house. You what? told him. You told him not in the bishop house. I said not today. Go not yesterday. Go to take the, your black car parts to the Hilton. Don't you got a Hilton's reward card? Yeah. You can get. You can even book your goddamn room. You can pick out which one you want. Matter of fact, I would give you a little bit of credit if you went out to the got doing shed what, what you call it and GC didn't watch that out there in the shed but her what, what was the name Jerk was the we ain't even heard from a while. Noah. Noah. You, you should have went out there. Yeah, it's empty. They moved out. Matter of fact, you should have went to the security booth. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the bishop's house. I said, oh my God. Poor baby just just occupying itself. Yeah, I baby said, crying. But listen. I think Kevin must, he might have him another have a have not situation going on. Because, um, old Ern was calling that dude like, Uh huh. Like, hey, we good. Hey, I said, oh, Ke Lord, we hey, got another He stalker. asked him, hey, y'all seen Kevin? Hey, anybody seen Kevin? Ke Kevin. Ke Ke Kevin. 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 Kevin ain't answering. Kevin ain't answering you, buddy. So, Gigi goes down, and I'm going out of order because it really, it don't, like might be said, it don't even matter. She goes down there because um, Aaron had kind of briefed her and coached her through uh, what to say when she went down there to the police station. He was like, listen, you already gave a statement to the cops. So what you can't do is to give another statement that mm -hmm. makes them question your first statement. So whatever you said the first time, you're going to have to confirm that and don't veer, don't veer off of it. Stay there. And after you said you, you cut him with the bottle, you said you don't remember mm -hmm. nothing else, yes, stay right. there. So she gets in the, um, at the police station there, and she told him exactly that. And then the cop threw this one in on her. But you called 911. You called 911. And she said, I did. Ern said, you know what? This meeting is over. It's over with. The cop said, ready to go left. The cop said, mm -hmm, it's over because I said it's over. But um, we'll be in touch. And I said, I was well. Like, I was like, maybe you get ready to go to jail. I said, Gigi. Gigi told her <laughs> it daddy. It ain't looking good for you right now. No, Gigi here. Gigi came back to the house and told her daddy, said, hey, daddy, 
Promise me that if I go to Rikers, <laughs> you're going to keep my baby here with you. She said, nah. He said, man, ain't nothing going to happen to you. Yeah, it ain't going that way. She said, I wish I had your faith. He said, I wish you did, too. But you know, the truth, the truth of the matter, this is the truth right here. No, people did not. When, when it ain't you, you got on all the hot faith. seat. You got all the faith, but when it's you on the freaking stove and your high parts is burning, <laughs> you ain't got no faith like you had when your high parts were on that stove. Oh, 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 oh. You can tell me all the bullshit you want. When when the fire get turned <laughs> up, you be wondering, is my high parts gonna get burnt? And usually it gets scorched a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then then the, then the saints will tell you, that's what you get because you're faithful, right? Yeah. But that's that's why I believe in in the corporate faith. You getting what together with you getting together with other people that have faith to help oh, yeah, you yeah. because when you in the middle of it, your faith is gonna waver. So you get some iron shop is iron. Yeah, that's that's right. what the scriptures say. Yeah, you my iron. Sometimes shop for me. Let's go. See y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know it's real late at night. It's eleven fifty-five, and my grandma say ain't nothing open this time of night but legs at seven eleven. Hey. And I'm sitting here with y'all. So what else happened? Um. So we see Jacob. You know Jacob don't got the deed from Skanks. We ain't see what happened to Skanks yet. Yeah, we ain't even see the deed neither. So he said, "Hey, I'm gonna go over there and talk to my daddy, give him this deed." Everything gonna be a okay. He talked to his wife, um, Clarissa. Clarissa said, um, I don't think <laughs> that this ain't gonna work. That this ain't gonna go. Mm -mm. She remind me of you. That's the bullshit you do to me. What? Tell me, oh, that ain't gonna work. Cause I am very real with mm -hmm. everybody. But like, I, I don't stroke people's ego. If it's not gonna work, I'm gonna tell you it's not. That's not gonna work. He said. I just gonna need you to just go ahead and pray for me. She said I'll do it, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> That's your daddy. Do you know the likings of uh, what you did it with? She already know how he is. So he marched his happy high parts over there to the church, right? <laughs> of, of course, first he ran into his sister. His sister already had a little male caller, Odarius. Rick Fox was waiting for her because she been avoiding his call. Mm -hmm. He goes in his daddy's office and he said, what you want? He said, what does Mr. Skanks want? He said, because he don't even, he ain't even worthy of the title yeah. of a, ever, a pastor or a bishop. This, this demon. He said, he said, um, daddy, I got the deed. You know, everything is going to be copacetic. Why don't I come back over here and co-pastor with you? You preach one Sunday, I preach one Sunday. He said, first of yeah. all, ho, ho, ho. Did y'all not forget that y'all sat there and wasted a day of my time? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how y'all gonna y'all gonna overthrow me and and throw me where I won't survive. And he said, set up in my office in a city for real. Okay. He said, you know what, um, Jacob? Listen to me here. Listen to me good. I need a co-pastor, just like I need a cane right now. <laughs> See, I don't need I, no cane. Like I don't need a cane right now. <laughs> he said, I don't need no guy doing co-pastor. He said, Well, what you mean, Dad? Gigi ain't preaching right now. He was like, So you think Gigi gonna be down for forever just because she got beat up a little bit? Nah, bro, this is not how this works. Well, I give it to him. He tried though. He brought his little deed in there. <laughs> thought he can get back in the favor of his daddy, but it didn't work. It didn't work. So he, he knows Skanks is bulls getting him. I so, guarantee he is. And so he go home, tell his wife, basically, you were right. Man, this ain't go over the way I thought it was. She making it, this dry guy doing sandwich. What they, what they, tuna fish sandwich? I don't, I don't know what that was. It was but he was like, it he was, was like, he was like, these for me, as if he didn't want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, ain't no man of mine gonna go nowhere on the empty stomach. I said, he might as well, but that dry got no sandwich. But she gonna tell him that he need to go on over this. What the name of the church was? And they, the church is that network. What yeah, over to that network and get Greg. on the, Greg on the TV. He was like, hi, I'm gonna look, go over there and work for him when he's just been, just been hitting on you. I said, that's a good I point. I think Greg wanted to force him. Hmm. That was some weird crap going on yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, oh, they wanted to trade off. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, they wanted to do that. What they call that on? Um, oh. Uh, 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 dang. I know it just as good. Dang. I can't think. If it come to me, I'm just going to shout it out. Pull up your ex-videos. they pop up. <laughs> <laughs> they going to get me for copyright infringement. <laughs> so, this is what we know. We see um, Charity over there. She went Jabari. 
and just giggling with her freakum dress on. I said, I see you look good, girl. I ain't even gonna lie. You, you so snatched. She lost some, lost she lost some more weight. Twin, twin her and Gigi did. So she over there and she calls home to check on her baby. Of course, um, Kevin was like, you know what? Baby duty, A-okay. But let me tell you this. He said, I know they don't want you to know, but as someone that loves you, I think that you should be privy to this information because I know how you don't like being left out of all the information going on around the house. <laughs> he said, listen, um, your Uncle Mac dead and your sister killed him up like my grandma would say. <laughs> she was like, what? He was like, are you okay? She said, yeah, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come home as soon as I can. And she said, you know what, Kevin? This right here. Mm -hmm. This right here. I just think this will work out. He started smiling. And he like, started smiling. He was I, like, this dog is working. Yes. I'm going to get my wife back. And she said, you know, this friend thing that we're doing. I think this is going to work. Lord, he had tears he rolling like, down his eyes. He like he wanted to be like, beep, heifer. And I was like, the bro poke Kevin hard. And everybody yeah. give Kevin a hard time because the one thing you cannot say, no matter how you feel about the situation, you cannot say that Kevin was not a man of integrity. But before Kevin decided to do anything, even when he felt like he was fighting with himself, he came and he told her. But you I, gotta give that to him. Yeah, I do get it. I think what people's problem with is that he didn't tell her until she confronted him because she knew well, something yeah. was wrong. So then he started being honest at that point. Yeah, but, but he yeah. didn't do anything. But he did. Yeah, but he still he was struggling did. with himself. So no, he was on the phone looking at pictures. But yeah, he was wrong. Yeah, he was yeah he was struggling through pictures. But he he never made any physical contact until today. <laughs> until today. <laughs> until today. But she didn't stop playing with him though, man. Yeah. She she know that he was there to doing what he doing to try to get back with her. Mm -hmm. Just co-parent. Yeah. So next thing we know, Kevin walks up into his surfer Ipecap um, meeting. Uh huh. Pissed off. This is a lie. It don't work. This bullshit don't work. He said I failed. And the the um, council's like, listen, no, 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 you didn't fail. We will all have miss ups. He said you gotta do the work. He looked at everybody in that room. He said, stop lying to yourself. You, Be yourself. You are who you are. Stop struggling with this. And I'm sitting here like, set them free. Set uh -huh. them goddamn people free. I could imagine going to Kevin here and like, you got me taking this goddamn strict nine. Every time I get feeling taking oh, this strict nine to make me forget that um, I don't want to go get some. Oh, that bull skit don't work. <laughs> in that case, everybody will have that skit. Yeah. So... Kevin marches on up out of that meeting, and I'm like, where the hell is he going? Is he going to find Aaron? But we ain't see Kevin no more. So we see that uh, Charity, nah, Charity, yeah. Yeah, Charity. Charity, it's too many goddamn C's. <laughs> Charity comes back to the house, and of course, you know, she's sitting there with her sister, and she was like, I'm so glad you're okay. And Gigi was like, you know, no, tell me about your trip. And she was like, you know, we can use some good news around this goddamn place. So she tells him that everything went well. You know, Jabari was nothing but great. And mm -hmm. Bishop mm -hmm. Lester Wallace well, is like, uh -huh, I hear you. Mm -hmm. With that tight dress on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know, I don't want to cut you short. I want to go upstairs and I want to kiss my baby. She go up there and she's hollering, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. The um, housekeeper was like, oh, Kevin's not here, but he left the baby with me. She goes over there to the crib. That's a cutest little baby. Lord, yeah, you know, that my little big old, little big old eye. I said... What is that on that crib? Well, Kevin don't left her a, um, a note. A sealed note. Mm -hmm. And whatever it was in that note, it don't took her breath away. Yeah, I don't know what he did. I don't, I don't know, know if he, he confessed to her that he slept with Aaron. I don't or know. is he about to do something to himself? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so scared for Kevin right now. I need to know, Kevin, are you okay? Yeah. But it took I guess we're going to find out tomorrow. Then we see God doing Sophia trying to talk some sense into door, um, Zora the Weed Explorer. Because she's still all the way up Isaiah's butt. Yeah. She was like, I don't know why you want to stay with him because you can't even sing. <laughs> she said, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You take this too goddamn far now. <laughs> so she said, you know what, the Zora that I know wouldn't take no skit off of nobody. Exactly. That's what so, I said. So that got Zora back into it. She was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You 
You might be yeah, right. You, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to dump his home for us. But you got to find me another boo. She said, you know what? That's I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you, player. Anything to get you away from that guy doing Isaiah. <laughs> so we ended off with that. So what else happened? Um, uh, da, 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 Aaron comes in and tells Gigi the good news. Yeah. He comes in, he tells us, say, hey, you're free. You're I free. thought it was too easy. It was, like, it was like too easy. The only thing I can think of it as that easy is that because Mac, Mama Mac was threatening the county, you remember? Oh, yeah. He was threatening the county that he had more weight to take these people down. And so they probably was like, you know what, Gigi done killed him. Go and let her go. She done took care of our problem. She took care of their problem. We all good. You free to go. Yeah. So Aaron told her, he said, listen. He said, sometimes the bear gets you. And sometimes you get the bear. You got the bear. You got the bear this time. So then we over there, we see um, Bishop Lester Wallace and uh, First Lady May. They in the bed just, you know, doing small talk or whatever. And she's basically telling him, she said, I know this is weird for you, but even though he did some really horrific things, I'm still grieving my brother right now. Bishop Lester Wallace was like, you know what? Mm. I, I can't. I, I really can't, I, I can't with do you right this. Now. Yeah. Because he hurt my daughter to the point where she killed herself. Mm -hmm. He tried to kill my other daughter. Yeah. And God knows what else he done did. So then she goes on to telling him, he was like, you know, Mac wasn't always like this. You know, we grew up and we had a really good childhood. You know, my daddy was an alcoholic, you know, and there were some, th some times that we had really good times. He told about this story and these nickels and how the daddy was joking about taking them to the bar or whatever. Yeah. And she was talking about how he had such a sensitive side to him. And she said, I think he turned from his sensitive side when he saw what my daddy was doing to me. Mm -hmm. And that's when he became the monster. So Bishop Lester Wallace was like, wait a minute, come again? Hmm. And she kind of gave the confirmation that yes, my daddy has always messed with me. So basically, my brother picked up the trait of my father. Hmm. So that's why I can sympathize and empathize with what's going on. And that's why I'm conflicted in my feelings. I'm still oh, I'm grieving feeling. my brother, but at the same time, I understand it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here like, God darn, First Lady May, you gonna make me like you a little bit this season with your mean self. She ain't got me yet. No, she ain't no, got me yet. She ain't got me yet. I, I, but I, I like how she's bringing balance to to the situation. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, it's gonna have to be balanced. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna yeah. have to be balanced because. Yeah, they're gonna have to sympathize with her and she's gonna have to sympathize with them. Mm -hmm. There's two griefs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then also having to understand a little bit about how Matt got there. Yeah. Although, well, no excuses. We ain't making excuses. Yeah, no, nah, no excuses. Um, yeah, but it is. But you, you gotta, gotta understand it. it. Yeah, when you get to understand it, it's a whole lot easier to deal with it. Yeah, so I was like, okay, so we'll <laughs> see what the next um, part of this is gonna be. But oh no, I don't know how I almost forgot this. So Gigi, you know, oh, yeah, on the pier. You know, she out there standing over there looking at the water. Praising the Lord. Uh-huh. And you know something about God in that water. And this day we know we hear a voice that said, Do you want to know how many times I prayed not to go to jail? I said, Don't y'all tell me that Uncle Mac ain't dead for real, that he yeah. took a breath in that body bag. But now I said, okay, so is Gigi going to start tripping out? Yeah, start hearing the voices. I'm know? like, oh, skit, Gigi, no, Gigi. That he going to start haunting her in her sleep? In her, in her awake. In her awake. <laughs> like this, in her awake. So I'm like, oh, Lord. So that's basically it. Yeah, so I'm glad Greenleaf, like we said, it was a little slow tonight, but we know because of the two-part two episode. Is it what now? Two-part episode. <laughs> We waiting to see who in the heck whoops Skank's tail. I need Hope, to know. Hopefully we'll see that tomorrow, but I don't know. But it like I said, I got a feeling that it's Jacob that whooped his tail because he gave him a fake deed. So I need to know what happened. To, I, I need to know what Kev meant. <laughs> I need to go with Kev meant. All right, y'all. We going to bed straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, two, two down. down. Holla.